make us waste what little ammo we have left. Jason, do you ever get tired of putting your life on the line for me? Don't do that. This, okay. this is all a byproduct of the life that I chose. Okay, fine, I'll give you that, because if I was dating an insurance salesman, this definitely wouldn't be happening. But, okay, I, I wouldn't be as happy as I am when I'm with you. I mean, sometimes I don't understand. I mean, I've put you through so much. I mean, what do you, what do you get from it? I'll get you. And that's all that really matters. I mean, and if you're feeling really guilty, you can make it up to me with a bowl bath when we get home. Hmm? No, I don't feel that guilty. I have to go file a motion now and hope I don't get laughed out of court. In the meantime, while I'm gone, please try to refrain from speaking to anyone you think might be sympathetic to your cause. It will only dig you in deeper. Johnny could still pull through. Unless John Zakara sees the light while he is under and decides to wash clean his sins by corroborating your story, I fail to see how his waking up can help you. I wouldn't get murdered. Attempted, but premeditated, thanks to Claire Walsh's private recordings. I realize that your dimples have gotten you so far, but did it really once never occur to you that she might be wearing a wire? Maybe I didn't want to see what was right in front of me. Wouldn't be the first time. Just might be the last. That's how this whole thing got started. Oh. You guys were talking about Lily's father, and I came to you and asked you for the truth, and you lied to me again. You didn't need to know. I needed to know the truth. Why couldn't you trust me? Deceit, betrayal, those are words you know real well. Let's, uh, let's not talk about sad things. Let's celebrate. Yes, let's celebrate. That's exactly what... You're accepting my proposal. What are you talking yes, you about? Are. I am clearly not. <laughs> I am toasting you, however, because you are a big movie star. And um, I would like <laughs> to make a toast to Murphy Sinclair, who is uh, in the studio's biggest movie franchise. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. To you. I'd first like to thank the Academy. And secondly, very special mention here to this beautiful, incredibly hot and talented model and philanthropist, philanthropist. who's taken time away from her calendar, very busy calendar, to come to Lake Como and drink beer with me in a canoe. I don't want to get in a canoe. Today, I just am... Uh, let's... Let's go. Oh. We're on lines. We're on lines? I don't have let's lines. Let's lines. This guy doesn't have any dialogue. He barely speaks. <laughs> Of course he doesn't. He doesn't. Of course he doesn't. Yeah. He's distant and huh? aloof, seemingly aloof. Yes. Possibly mindless. And when he takes someone out, he has no regrets. Yes. Total disconnect. He feels nothing. So practice that. You feel nothing. Um, so I forgot that you know all this because you know the guy who can kill people with his bare hands. Yeah, my husband. Your what? <laughs> I mean... Your husband? The one husband that I ever had. It was a marriage of convenience. It meant nothing. I, I never even slept with him. Oh, okay. Ay, ay, ay. So you left at the altar three times. The one time you got through the ceremony was to marry a killer because it was convenient. Brenda. Yeah. You're attacking the beer bottle. Sorry. Honey. Don't you think it's time that you got married for love? <laughs> you're you're honestly delusional. 
I didn't sleep with you to end my marriage. Okay, I know how trapped that you've been feeling. I mean, now that it's over, you can finally breathe. My marriage is not over. Well, from what I hear, Robin basically announced it over the loudspeaker. I mean, it must be killing her knowing that she can't satisfy the way that I can. I'm going to tell you this one more time. I love Robin. If she never, ever forgives me for what happened, don't think for a second that I'll ever end up in your bed again. Sleeping with you was the worst mistake I've ever made in my life. Well, I don't regret it. And in a couple of days, when your life is your own again, I guarantee that you won't either. Okay. Robin? Hey, you all right? No. I thought it would make me feel better to clean the house. <laughs> Life just seems to make more sense when everything's in its place. <sighs> then I found Emma's little puppy, you know, the one that you always put her lost socks on? Yeah. <laughs> you know, no matter how mad I am at you, I just... Our family, you know, it doesn't... It just doesn't... It just doesn't work without you. <laughs> I want to make this work, Robin, more than anything. Where are you right now? The corner of uh, Thomas and Royal. I just I started walking. I need to clear my head. I'll come get you, okay? Okay. Be ready. All right, I see movement. Santos guys are getting in position. Sam, make every shot count. Someone goes down, you grab the gun. How long do you think we can hold them off? Uh, a diversion would help. But there's not much to work with in the hair, Jason. Okay. So now the one lights outside. I can try to sneak out, circle around, start picking off the guys before they even make it to the door. But that that means that I would have to leave you in here alone. Okay. Okay, I can hold my own. I know you can. <laughs> you ready? Almost. to have Claire's recording suppressed was denied, as I suspected it would be, given the fact that you openly stated your intent to kill Johnny to a federal prosecutor and that you were in no way coerced, the judge agreed to allow it into evidence. What about bail? Well, I'll petition for it at the arraignment, but I wouldn't hold my breath. You're a proven flight risk. Claire Walsh is going to be extremely vocal about having you bound over for trial. Well, I do pay you double, so we... You pay me triple for this. <sighs> Just stop going around shooting people. You could save yourself a considerable it's amount of money. It's self-defense. It's the truth. It doesn't matter what the truth is. It matters what I can prove. Dante's is looking for a witness. He's going to get a witness that, you know, find a witness that saw Johnny holding Why the gun. Why did would... you do this? Why, Diane? I won't tell you why I did it. I shot Johnny because if I hadn't, he'd have killed me. No, I am familiar with the finer points of a self-defense argument. I mean, why did you do any of it? All of it? Open yourself up to Claire Walsh. Feed her damning evidence. Leave Johnny to bleed to death in the middle of a public street where anyone could have found him. That's sloppy, Sonny. People make mistakes, Diane. Yeah? Well, I think you want to get caught. Why would I want to go to prison? To punish yourself for what happened no. to Michael. What's, what's he doing here? I called him. I'm here to help. Okay. Oh. I could never personally advise a client to jump bail, leave the country. But if said client were facing what Sonny is facing and had the resources at his disposal, wouldn't you agree that it might be better to leave this country and start over fresh someplace else? This is just hypothetically speaking, of course. And what if his client chooses to ignore your advice? Then he's looking at life in prison. And if hypothetically we are talking about Sonny Corinthos, that life won't last very long once he is behind bars. So, Ms. Moore makes
That's a very good point. When do you want to leave? Jason, Max, and Milo. I haven't seen them. Can't wait. Yep. Get a plane ready. One that can't be connected back to me. And uh, money for bail, no matter how high they set it. Any particular place you want to land? The night I proposed to you, you told me that I deserved a woman who loved me in an overwhelming, can't live without you kind of way. That's not what I want. No, how do you know that if you haven't experienced it? Brenda, you're the only one I can be real around. Really? Yeah. And if I had to choose, I'd take the bear and the canoe kind of love any day. <laughs> I want what we have right now. The comfort and the companionship. The trust. Loyalty. And a whole lot of laughter. That's what I want. The only question is, is that good enough for you? Or are you gonna need the overwhelming die if I can't live without you kind of love? I think I outgrew crazy. I know I outgrew crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we do like what we have. I'll beg if you want. I will. No, no, I don't mean okay. No, no, no I don't mean okay beg. for you to beg. To no, beg. no, I mean okay, I'll marry you. What? <laughs> yes? I mean... Oh, my God, I never thought I'd hear it. Oh, okay. Wait, let me hear it again. Okay. Did you say yes? Yes. Yes? <laughs> oh, my God. Hmm. So this is going to work. There's a lot of details that are going to have to be taken care of on both ends. We need to know the destination, so what's it going to be? Where you're gonna disappear to? Bro. Hmm. You're not gonna change your mind the moment we get back to Rome, are you? No. I'm gonna marry you, and I'm not gonna change my mind when we get back to Rome. Mm -hmm. 